Hey guys, this is Prakash from theskillable.com and in today's video, we will see how to make your website secured with this lock sign and remove the not secure sign from your website. So it will not only secure your website for the customers, it will also allow you to collect payment and information from your customers. So let us check out. So let us first understand what is the meaning of this lock and is it that it is just removing this signage of not secure and putting a lock sign. So the SSL means the secure socket layer which encrypts all the communication between the website and its visitor. This makes it so that when the buyer sends their credit card information over the internet, it's kept completely private and secured. So let us understand how this SSL works. So SSL works by having a digital certificate on your server that is officially and legally signed by a third party company. There are a variety of companies that can create the certificate and they all have been required to provide that they are reliable and secure. So when the browser connects to the server, it validates the certificate and then creates an encrypted browsing session. So this is one of the reasons you will see that companies like PayPal will not allow you to create a payment gateway if your website is not secured with a SSL certificate. So this underlines the importance of having a SSL certificate on your website. So if you check with the hosting companies, most of the hosting companies, they do provide the SSL certification at a very high price, which is almost equal to buying a domain from them. So we'll see how we can get a free SSL certificate for our website in five simple steps. So in the first step, we will go to a website called cloudflare.com and we will create a free account here. So let us go to sign up. And here you just need to enter your email address. And select a password. Hit the create account button. Now you need to add your site here. So we will copy the domain and you need to remove the HTTP and the backslash. So remember, you cannot have this SSL certificate on a subdomain. It has to be a domain. So hit the add site. Here you need to scroll down and select the free plan and hit continue. So it will scan for the DNS records. So scroll down and hit continue. So here it is prompting us to change the name servers and name servers can be changed by logging into the administrator account for the domain register. So I had registered this domain with Hostinger and I need to log into the Hostinger account. So on the domain registrar or the hosting through which I had bought this domain, uh, I can just go and click on the manage button. And from here, I can see the DNS name servers or I can go and hit the change button here. So I will go to the DNS name servers and hit 
the change name servers button. Here I get an option use hostinger name servers or change the name servers. So I will say change name servers. So here you need to be a little careful in copying the name servers exactly on the first and the second position. So I will copy the first one and I will paste it over here. Again the second one and I will paste it on the second position. So just make sure that you are copying it at the right position. Now you just need to save the changes and you get a notification that the name servers have now been changed. So we can just close this. Now let us check if the changes are reflecting on Cloudflare and you can just hit the done check name servers button. So here you can just skip the recommendations and on the next page you can scroll down and hit this button check name servers. So even if it is not indicating at the moment and it is saying that it might take few hours, we can continue with the next step. And, and here we will be doing the last step to enable the SSL certificate and we just need to click this lock button. And here you just need to turn the flexible option on and it will encrypt the traffic between the browser and Cloudflare. The next thing that you need to check is the Edge certificate and in the Edge certificate you just need to turn this option always use HTTPS on. If we go to the overview page we will see that there is a confirmation that the Cloudflare is now protecting your website and also there is a green tick for this information. So now if we try to open our website in a new tab and hit enter, it will show a secured site and if we click on the secured site, it will say the connection is secured. So this is how we can enable the SSL certificate on our website and make it more secure and trustable for our customers. So hope you liked the video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing it and hit the bell icon so that you will get notifications for all my upcoming videos. So thank you so much and take care.